Hey, it's fight week. Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury, both undefeated, both a claim to at least part of the heavyweight championship of the world. Wilder is the WBC champ. Fury was a unified champ, also the lineal champion. Um, and then, of course, he had his long layoff, so he lost all the belts. But some historians still consider Tyson Fury to be the lineal heavyweight champion. It's a big fight. It's a huge fight. Let me ask you a question. Why isn't it bigger over here, and particularly in the U.S.? I don't understand it. This, to me, at least for what I like in boxing, is the biggest fight of the year. No, it's not Canelo Alvarez and Gennady Golovkin, but I'm talking about two undefeated heavyweights who are both 33 and under. That's awesome! Both guys have accomplishments. They've done great things in their career. We have Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury, two gigantic heavyweights. And we've seen this size or larger heavyweights in the past, but we haven't seen a lot of cases of these guys against each other, at least as undefeated heavyweight champs. I'm excited about the fight. I can't wait for the fight. Here's my question about Deontay Wilder. Why is Deontay Wilder, he's 33 years old, he's 40-0, 39 knockouts, he's knocked out every person that he's fought, and you're, I know you're like, wait a minute, but what, you said 39 knockouts. Yeah, but one guy he fought twice, the first time he fought Berman, Berman Stavern, that's when he won the WBC, the vacant WBC belt that was vacated by Vitaly Klitschko. When he won that belt, he defeated Stavern by decision, 12 rounds, good fight, fought him again a few years later, knocked him out in the first round. He's knocked out every single guy he's ever faced in a boxing ring as a professional. Why is Deontay Wilder still not a household name in America? Or why, maybe not even a household name, why if I go ask people on the street whether they're just general sports fans or not, to name some boxers, nobody says Deontay Wilder's name. And that's just the truth. I've been following Deontay's career for a long time. Um, I interviewed him and JD's, his manager, way back before anybody ever really was thinking about this guy, right? Wilder's a different kind of story than we usually see, at least with guys who come up and actually do something as champions. Wilder started boxing way, way, way too late to look anything like what we think he should look like as a champion. Wilder started boxing when he was 20 years old. Um, within a couple years, he was fighting in the Olympics, and he won the bronze medal. Right? That's awesome. What an amazing accomplishment. Can you imagine walking into a sport that you've never practiced before and then meddling at the Olympics just a few years later, a couple years later? I think it's less than two years. I don't know, but it was pretty soon. It was way sooner. Most of these guys start at five or six years old and they start fighting and they're in the gym their whole lives. Not the case with Wilder. We've seen him in the ring. He doesn't look quite like we think he should look. But here's the thing about that. Wilder is exceptionally great at what he does. Wilder uses his speed, his power, and his athleticism to the best of his ability. That's, that's the best that Deontay can be. He could, has a decent jab. That's something that he didn't have when he was an amateur. And as he's come up, and they brought in Mark Breland to help him as a trainer, to use that jab. Really good jab. Really great power. Power that he can land because he's such a great athlete. So tell me. Why is Deontay Wilder not a bigger star today? I don't know. I don't understand it. We have a whole generation of boxing fans who all go crazy over watching Mike Tyson when he was 21 years old, knocking people out, and younger, 20, 20 years old, whatever. He's knocking people out on ESPN Classic, and all these people that don't really follow boxing now, but they go and they watch these fights, and they're like, wow, Mike Tyson was so awesome. He's so amazing. You know what else is amazing? Deontay Wilder. And here's something. Deontay Wilder is he can't, that was harder to do, arguably, I think, what Deontay Wilder did. Mike Tyson is the youngest heavyweight champion ever. He won the title when he was 20 years old. Deontay Wilder started boxing at the same age and became heavyweight champion. Um, he's held the title. He's got, I think, seven defenses of the WBC title, somewhere around there. He's fought good fighters. Now, they took their time with this guy. They took their time because they knew they had to. He needed rounds. That's what they told me way, way a long time ago. This guy needs rounds. We're going to give him rounds. We're going to just find guys that will fight him and put him in the ring so he can get those rounds. Because, he, again, he doesn't have all that amateur experience. Why is Deontay Wilder a bigger star? Tyson Fury is a bigger star, I think, here in the States 
than Deontay Wilder is in his home country. I don't mean any disrespect by that. I think it's outrageous, kind of, in that where are where the hell are the fans? When Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury had their New York Prince conference, why were so many people there seeing in Tyson Fury's there's only one Tyson Fury. Why are so many? Why are so many people singing that? We should get more bomb squads out there. I don't understand it. So here's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that Deontay Wilder doesn't have to lose a fight to get the respect that he deserves right now. He should be a bigger star. He should be already somebody that people know out there. This pay-per-view fight is coming up, and we're all excited about it, because if you're watching the show, you're a boxing fan, so I know you're excited about it. But listen, most people out the world aren't excited about it. This fight isn't going to sell even close to a million pay-per-view buys. It's not going to come close to doing what we think good pay-per-view should do, and it's because nobody out there really knows, except us, the boxing fans, who Deontay Wilder is. Why is that? Is it our fault? Is it Deontay Wilder's fault? Is it just the way things are? I don't know. I don't have an answer for you. I think partially it has to do with when Deontay came along and how he came along, right? If this was the 1990s, if he had fought on the 1984 or 1988 Olympic team, I think he would naturally, because mainstream media seemed to be behind boxing more back then, he would naturally have more exposure. But he did. He came along later, right? He fought in the 2008 Beijing Olympics. So he came along later. I also think it has something to do with him being from Alabama. And yeah, people say, well, Evander Holyfield was from Georgia or Joe Lewis was from Al Joe Lewis was born in Alabama. Joe Lewis was from Detroit, okay? Wilder was born and lives in Alabama. And I don't know, maybe it's just where he's from. I have a feeling that if Deontay Wilder was from Philadelphia or from New York, or somewhere that had more media there, that he would naturally be part of that news cycle. I don't know. I think it's stupid, but I'm just telling you what I think. I don't know. I don't understand it. And here he is in the biggest fight of his life on Showtime pay-per-view against Tyson Fury, an excellent, excellent heavyweight that's undefeated as well, who's younger than him. Does he have to win this fight to get the accolades that I think he already deserves? Maybe he does. That's fine. Everything has been the hard way for Deontay Wilder and his team. You talk to any of those guys and they'll tell you it's just been harder for Deontay Wilder. Look at all the accolades and all the hoopla and all the praise that we lavish on worldwide and especially in the UK on Anthony Joshua. Joshua deserves that. He's a really good heavyweight champion. He looks great. That fight against Klitschko was awesome. But Wilder deserves that too. He deserves it already. And after he beats Tyson Fury on Saturday, you better give it to him. And uh, I guess who I'm talking to are the boxing fans who have criticized Wilder his whole career for not looking like what you think he should look like. At some point, you have to realize, and I wrote a story about this for The Sweet Science. If you go to thesweetscience.com, you can read about it. It was last week. At some point, you're going to have to admit to yourself, after you watch Wilder beat Fury, and I really feel like he's going to beat Fury, after you watch Wilder beat Fury, instead of making up stories about how well it's because Fury took all this time off, Fury was ready, why don't you instead challenge your preconceived notion that Wilder has to look a certain way in the ring? He doesn't. He's proven it. He proved it against Luis Ortiz. He's going to prove it against Tyson Fury next, too. And I can't wait, and I hope that you will then, you boxing fan, it's up to you. It's you to be the evangelizer. You get out there and you tell your friends, your mainstream sports fans, hey, did you see this Deontay Wilder guy? He's awesome. He deserves our attention, our accolades. He's the heavyweight champion in the world. And then we'll go watch him go over to wherever he's going to go next, fight whoever he's going to fight next. And I think then he'll have that whatever behind them, that media buzz, that whatever. This fight should be bigger than it is, and it kind of pisses me off that it isn't. But that's okay. We're going to start here. We're going to start with you, the bomb squad. You're going to be the bomb squad, whether you want to be or not. That's just how it works, because he's going to keep winning. He's going to keep knocking people out, and either you can get on board now, or you can wait 10 or 20 years later when he's one of the better heavyweight champs of the era and say, well, gosh, I was wrong about that guy.
I think it's time to admit that maybe, maybe you were wrong about the way that Deontay Wilder is supposed to look. Deontay Wilder is the fighter he is because he fights the best way for him. And that's important. If we all did that in life, we'd be a lot better off. Hey, let me tell you how else you can be better off in your own life. It's by liking, commenting, and subscribing. It sure helps us out. We appreciate it. And hey, thanks for watching.